In this video, we're going to show you how to install a helicoil. We have bolts on this tensioner that need to be torqued down to 18 foot-pounds, but obviously we have this one stripped up here, so we need to install a helicoil to get the correct torque. Before I actually start drilling into the car, it's a good idea to understand how these work. And I have this test block here where I make sure I have all the right sizes. I'll drill the hole, tap the hole, and then take the helicoil, thread it in, thread in the bolt, and if I thread this in here, you'll get an idea of how this works. With a pair of pliers, I can grab that piece on the back here, and that'll allow us to start spinning it in. Once that's in place, we can thread in the bolt that's stripped out, and you can see that threads right into the wood. And what happens is that helicoil is kind of like a spring, so it starts to expand, and that's why it doesn't move around in there. There's a lot of force of those moving and creating a lot of friction. So this helicoil is gonna stay right where it is. Now we can thread in our bolt, and what happens is when this bolt starts threading in, it'll start to tighten up, and that helicoil starts to expand a little bit, and that's what's gonna keep it from moving around inside of that hole. It's a lot cheaper to buy these in sets. So I got this whole set here, 60 different pieces for about $10. This top bolt is the one that's stripped that we're going to be replacing, and before we install this helicoil, we tried some JB Weld. We heard it can uh, kind of replace the threads, and if you look in there, you can see it did form new threads, but it was only able to hold about five foot-pounds before I felt it start slipping. Now we'll drill out the hole that we're going to be repairing with the helicoil. This drill bit is for the correct size of an M10 1.0 tap. The shaft of a tap can fit into a quarter inch extension so you can extend it and I'm in a really tight area here with this cooling fan. Now we've just got to get this started and of course this is always the hardest part. It's a good idea to keep oil on it, it cuts a lot smoother. For every one turn that you make, just go a quarter turn back to clear the threads. The flutes on the side catch the chips here so it doesn't pack in there. And also just make sure it's going in straight. If you can fit a tap wrench in here, it makes it a lot easier, but with this cooling fan, we really don't have much room. They make a special tool for grabbing the end here, but needle nose works as well. You want to take the helicoil in until everything is flush and just a little bit more, so right there. Now we need to shear off that piece at the end. It has a pre-scored mark on there so it comes out. Now that we've got our helicoil installed, let's go ahead and put everything back together. It's going in pretty nicely and it's starting to tighten up on that helicoil. Now all three are tight. 